Uh, I remember when Peter O'Neill had to leave the country uh, for some bogus gun charge. Uh, I remember the day that happened. In fact, I was, we were in a convoy headed across, across the bridge. We're going from uh, Kansas City, uh, Missouri to Kansas City, Kansas, you know. And it was two carloads of us. We were going for some barbecue, you know. And you don't go uh, uh, shopping around for some good barbecue, you know, with the gun in your pocket. We weren't talking about sticking up a barbecue drum. We were going to eat, you know. And, you know, we were going to get some takeout and bring it back. And you know, I'd never been to this barbecue joint before. So I was in a lead car, uh, and uh, Pete was in the second car behind us. And I remember uh, he was stopped and pulled over, and we were looking back, what's going on, you know? Uh, should we stop and go back, you know, and see what the deal is? And we decided to keep on going, but slower. And then as soon as we got across the bridge, we pulled over to see, you know, see if he was going to catch up, and he didn't. Uh, there was a, a whole fleet of police cars around this car, and we were very curious about what, what was going on. By then, we had lost our appetite for any, any, any barbecue. And the uh, next thing I know, Pete had to flee the country. I said, man, what in the hell is going on? By that time, I was back in Omaha, you know. In fact, I think I was... Uh, uh, we was in prison by the time the next uh, but bit when of you news were I heard about people. traveling to Des Moines and